hi everyone I'm back with another video tutorial in today's video I'm going to show you how I made these picture frames I'm sorry about the glare that I have made out of recycled old buttons as you can see on a wooden picture frame so you get these uh, picture frames these are very thin uh, wood ply or wood whatever uh, picture frames you got at Walmart for one dollar these comes in various different sizes this one is a rectangular one as you can see and this one is a star shape which I think was really cool and I've got another one in a square this is a square frame I got this from my dollar store for one dollar but this is a, a little bit thick wood but these ones are really thin ones okay so uh, I'll be doing a video tutorial on this in the future but for today's purposes uh, I'll be making this picture frame this fits in a 3 by 3 picture and uh, since uh, I'm having this picture of my daughter's graduation day party at her daycare so cool, cool. so I'll be uh, making I'll be decorating the frame for this so the supplies that we'll be needing are of course of picture frame uh, this is uh, acrylic paint I'm using a pink one because I think uh, I'll be going with pink today and some tacky glue a lean stacky glue is the best and um, you can use hot glue but it's not required the hot glue will show up because as you can see in this one it has spaces in between you can see the background so it will show up this one um, the tacky glue dries up clear so this would be pretty good and some buttons for this one I think I'll go with the pink buttons but um, I don't know how the frame will look after painting it so I have yellow pink blue orange purple and green I have all sorts of uh, buttons I, I got this uh, at Walmart for a big bag but I have sorted them out so let us see which one looks the best so first I'm going to be um, covering this thing up in the paint and then I'll get back I think I'll be putting on two coats on this one uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, in this picture frame, uh, I'm not very happy with this, how it turned out to be. This one is pretty good because it's all covered in buttons and there is no gap. In this one, I'm sorry about this glare. Uh, in this one, uh, as you can see, I have uh, this gap because the picture was two and a half by three and a half and the picture frame is for three by three. Uh, I did not have a three by three picture. So what I, the mistake I did in this one was, I did not paint the back of the frame. So I had to put a yellow piece of paper. So I think I'll be uh, correcting this up. I'll be just painting it in red and doing the same background as this one. So we'll not be doing this for this one. Okay. So the first thing is, we will be taking the backing off. Yeah. And I'll be uh, painting this thing hole up and the back of my um, the cover because this is the same size picture this will show up so I don't want this one to show up so I'll be painting this and this now I will be forwarding this part and then when I'm done and the paint is dry I'll come back So here I am back uh, 
with my clean hands and my dried up picture frame which is dried up nicely and the back too um, only uh, pink would make it a little bit dull we'll be using these four colors pink green blue and yellow now we'll be assembling them um, first we'll be putting the, the bigger pieces of uh, the bigger buttons and then we'll be gluing them okay so that we can just have a look how they are um, turning out to be so we'll put all these buttons separately and we will start with them okay so uh, I think the big buttons should come in first yeah so what you can do with this one is this uh, like this is having a big gap I hope you can see yeah so what we can do is we can put another uh, smaller button inside it and then a blue or a pink one on top of it See? so um, I have these green buttons and I'll be using more of a pink or I think in a balance that is great okay so after placing the bigger buttons yeah I'm just putting them randomly now this is a pink one it's not showing up very nicely as you can see so I'll be putting um, a green one on top this is a flower shape this is really cute like so and I think um, this much would be good these buttons now you can fill up these bigger ones too with this green I'm going to fill it up with a little pink and with this one I think I'll go with the blue. Yeah, this looks cute too. And if you want, you can put another smaller yellow button. But it won't show up as nicely as it should. Or you could go with pink. This looks cute. So, now I'll be gluing this, these in place as I thought. And I'll forward this part and then I'll be back when I've glued them. Okay? So now I am done with this and I'm pretty happy with this one. Yeah. Now it's totally up to you and totally random how you put all the remaining buttons. You can still uh, do a double layer with the smaller ones too, wherever you want to. I think I'll be doing with some of them. So. So this is what the final and dried product looks like. Uh, as you can see, all the glue has dried up nicely. And this has turned out to be really pretty, I think. And I'm sorry about the moving of the camera. I wanted to just show you the close-up. Whoops. Okay. And these are the other two. I have made I hope you enjoyed spending time with me hope to see you next time thanks for stopping by at aromas of life have a nice day bye bye